Yes, I was a mechanic. So I wanted to play with this ignition coil here. This is a, a TCI coil and the TCI stands for uh, transistor controlled ignition. This coil is 12 volts, operated at 12 volts, but these coils compared to these uh, need a shorter charging time and a an higher current on the primary. Uh, the primary is just half of an ohm of resistance. Anyways, this is a Western Spark coil with two outputs, and it's probably from a car of like the mid 90s or something. And I have this circuit here with a 555. This circuit has two speeds, uh, slow and fast. Uh, you just ignore all these wires, this uh, is a clutter anyways. This circuit is fairly simple and it drives a, a MOSFET for the primary of the coil. Okay, let's try this thing. We have now 16 volts DC coming from my bench power sap here. And I put a bit of tape on one post of the coil because otherwise it sometimes, just sometimes, sparks uh, across the two posts instead of the intended spark gap. The driving circuit has two speeds, low and high. And when you don't press any button, it's in standby mode like now and there's no output. Anyways, let's try low speed. high speed and that's loud okay let's reduce the light okay Magic. Damn it! I dirtied my table. Okay, now something a bit more neat. A nice Jacob's ladder made with two uh, copper wires. And it works because the arc is hot enough. Anyways, let's try. But at high speed, because at low speed, it does just this. But at high speed... Damn it, it's loud. Anyways, let's reduce the light. Okay. And you have the idea. And this is the schematic, if you are interested. And the circuit can also drive uh, old style coils regularly. These coils, honestly, are simpler to operate. They need just a longer charging time or an higher voltage or both to have even more power. Uh, these are simple to use. You can also use a really to drive them with a stupid circuit. And they make a really high voltage, actually. And I'm giving you free tips to drive this type of coils, this old style. Okay, first tip. It's better if you put the coil not vertical like this, but flat. Why? Because inside these coils, there's oil. These are not potted like this one here. And bang oil, there may be a bit of air. So if you put it vertical, you'll void this spot here of oil, probably. And it can arc inside and ruin itself. So you put it flat and you'll flood the neck of the coil with oil and avoid. Okay, second tip, 
At some point, you'll probably notice that without an insulating rubber boot, it will spark from the inside here to a primary pin. And in my opinion, this is not a bad thing. Why? Because if this happens, it means that you reached a really high voltage and it's better if you keep this uh, path here as a safety spark gap and be happy with the voltage you get on your actual spark gap. And this is valid also for these types of coils. Third tip, if you want to connect something, a wire on the output here, this is complicated maybe because it has a weird shape and I use these things, these negative terminals of AA batteries, these are neat, you fit it inside and you have a connection with the high voltage of the coil and it will be pretty neat, this is valid also obviously for also this type of coils. Now let's try with an old style coil with a simple spark gap here. Let's see. It's on the edge of the arc around the neck of the coil, higher speed. So safe to touch. Well, maybe you'll not die, but <laughs> it will be painful for sure. I tried uh, Nishon Coil anyways. Let's turn off the light or reduce it. It shines on the desk. Okay, now let's try with a plasma globe on the output of the coil. We have a reduced power, just 10 volts DC, because I don't want to stress the voltage on this coil because it's an open circuit. Anyways, let's take out the light. Sorry for the darkness. Low speed. And it makes this initial flash High speed. And that's completely different from the plasma globe, the original plasma globe. It looks so cool on the camera, but I have to put the exposure to the minimum. It looks so neonish. And you can use two coils with the two primaries put in anti-parallel to have double the output voltage. You can put sharp needles on the two outputs, again put the coils flat, not vertical, I suggest you, and obtain double the voltage and making sparks uh, reaching like 10 centimeters actually. And I have an old video, uh, this one here, in where I show this operation with two coils, but I warn you, it's an old video, it's clumsy, <laughs> and the circuit is also too complicated in my opinion, but it worked well. So thank you for having watched my video, and uh, ciao!